Hey YouTubers, good morning, Rob Muffet. Guys, we're working with the Conwell battery tester this morning. This is a rather inexpensive device and it's very handy. I've got a battery here for my neighbors. It's in this car for two years and he's not home. He's up north, so he asked me to check on his battery, get it working so we can move the car. So we're going to test to see if the battery is even any good before we even spend any time. This battery tester will test, see if you have a battery that's good enough to charge or if it has a bad cell, or if you should just replace it. Also, when you finish testing, I'm showing you this. I should be showing you. <laughs> you don't want to see this. <laughs> this. This will show you a lot of stuff. But basically, what we're going to do this morning, we're just going to show you how to use it with a plain lead cell battery and see what it says. So when you hook it up, the, the red is positive, black is negative. You're at your main menu. If you use the keys, you can scroll down to different setups. Like what well, tells you if you want to uh, um, uh, review the last results and so on, or the the setup lets you do different things, change the language. We we don't need to know all that. We what we want to do is just check the battery. That's all we want to do this morning. So let's check it. We go enter. Now, is it in vehicle or out of vehicle? It's out of the vehicle. So we use the scroll key. Go down. Enter again. Now, this tells you what type of battery we're going to use the regular battery but if you have like the uh, the glass or the seal of the gel battery you can use those by scrolling down we're just going to use the first one which is the regular uh lead batteries so enter now these are the different standards for different countries or regions we're going to go down to sae this is going to be usa enter now i've already got it in 470 amps that's how many amps this battery is but if yours is different you obviously can scroll up or down so we're go. It, it has a default. It goes to 400, I think, but you can change it. So we're going to enter now. See what the battery is. It's testing. It's very quick. This is a battery. It's good and it can be recharged. It's at 53% capacity and 11.87 volts. This is actually considering how long it's been sitting for two years. It's. I'm surprised it has that much, but it's not enough to start the car. So, like, I went down to my car this morning. I don't use it very often, and it was really sluggish to start. So I'm going to go and use this to see if I have a bad cell or uh, it's just low or I need to even replace the battery. Um, so this is a very handy tool. It's not very expensive. It doesn't have a battery, <laughs> which is wonderful, and uh, it'll last a long time. And I don't think you can cook this up to your computer to get the different software, but, but uh, quite inexpensive, and it's a handy tool for checking your batteries. All right, thought those was helpful to you. I put on new videos every week, been doing our 15 years, got over 1,100 videos. I put on new stuff all the time. You never know what you're gonna find because I never know what I'm gonna make. <laughs> That's why YouTube loves me. Yeah, they don't know what to do with my channel. Nobody sees it. All right, guys, take care. See you out there.